Those of you that follow Joe and I on social media, you know we love to travel, and we do it quite often. In fact, we usually got to go a long distance over several continents, and it was a lot of fun, and it was a lot of planes, trains, and automobiles. So the question is, when you have to travel on a long trip, what's your favorite way to travel? What is the best mode of transportation? What do you bank on? What do you rely on? What is your choice? Hit us up right now and join a live conversation. Lots of you have your choices out there. We got uh, yours as well. A whole stack answers, actually, and of course, the big poll at the end of the show. But, Joel, when you're out and about traveling, what, what do you think is the best mode of transportation? So this answer completely depends on where you're going uh, and how people get around their normal way of traveling everyday life. My absolute favorite is train. Like you can do an Amtrak somewhere in the Midwest or the East Coast. It's great. Not so much on the West Coast, mostly Amtrak buses and shit out here. But um, if you're in England, like Joe and I were a couple of weeks ago, and you can take a bullet train, that's the absolute best mode of transportation. Uh, if I'm inside a city, I prefer a Lyft or an Uber to uh, to like a bus because I like my own shit, not being thrown in with the public, especially with crackheads. But uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely train number one, and then um, like somebody else driving me number two. Not planes, not airplanes. Airplanes scare the shit out of me. I white knuckle that. I've seen you go crazy and white knuckle that. I can say it for sure. I also want to say hello back to Darlene joining us live right now. Appreciate you joining us during our conversation. And uh, Joel, I agree with you. Like The thing is though, like to get from like say here to where you went in England, you gotta fly. But really, in America, flying has become a pain in the ass with getting to the airport early, the TSA, the cutbacks. It takes a while to get there. But I agree with you. Like My favorite mode of transportation is the train. Efficient, gets you where you need to go for the most part. And you know what? It's also kind of easy to do. And you don't have to go through all the extra airport security. You can kind of roll pretty much right on up at the time that's going to take off. And it's nice. And it'll get you pretty much where you want to go. And one thing, Joel, that you and I learned overseas, the trains are like a thousand times nicer than what they are here in the U.S. So, you know what? It's definitely worth it. Darlene writes in and says she likes driving her car. You know what? I have to admit, too, I've been car-free for a while now. And I kind of like it. I use trains and Ubers to get around over here, too. But... And Darlene writes in and says, being in Florida, you need a car. She's exactly right. Before I lived here in the New York City area, I had a car too. Just got rid of it, saving lots of money each month. So, you know what? And I don't miss driving. I used to like it when I was younger, but the fact is, like, it just takes long to get where I need to go anymore. It's just like, you know what? Let me sit back in the train. Let it take me. I'll go to the bar car, have a little snack or whatever. And, you know what? Ride and just have a good time. I think that's just the kind of easier way to go. But you guys have a lot of opinions out on social media, so let's get to a bunch of yours right now because Heather Ann McKee writes in and she says automobile. Jason A. Johnson, he says automobile. C. Voitek says plane, even though the leg space sucks and it messes with your ears at times. Long trips give you food, movies, and you get to your destination way faster than a bus, plus no traffic. I agree with that, except when I'm going to bring up what happened like when Joel and you and I went to London from here in New York City. They usually do get you where you need to go, but then, of course, there's the obvious delay. Like, how we were supposed to land in London, except we kept circling round and round and around. And at one point, like, you had clearly had enough. Yeah. Yeah, at one point, I got a little bit pissed off there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we circled London about five times in the air for an extra hour or so. Yeah. An hour. Um, and uh, those long trips. You never know. It could be you could be in the air for extra hours, or you could be on the ground for extra hours on the delay. That's, that's another huge pain in the ass that comes with flying. Like, alone, from, um, let alone being scary as shit. And Darlene, congratulations to you. Santa does bring you a brand new truck. I, I hope that happens. And I hope also that your insurance doesn't go up with that brand new truck. But look, you know, you're right, Joel. I mean, the delays in flying, you just kind of like got to bank that in now. I mean, that's just kind of, it is what it is. It's just, they've consolidated so much that you just got to deal with it. More of your comments right now because I want to borrow a while writes in and says, train is the most relaxing. Not talking the LIRR. I always got that right. But if you're not in a huge rush, it's a nice way to go. No traffic. And you're not headed onto a plane like potentially explosive cattle. That is one thing I do want to bring up. We're talking about the difference between planes and trains. There are more room on trains than our planes because they just pack you in so damn tight on airplanes anymore to maximize their cost. It kind of ruins the fun. Yeah, that's why everybody's pissed off and uncomfortable. More of your comments right now because Matt Treat writes in and says, I love trains. You get to enjoy looking at a lot of the countryside that you don't necessarily get to enjoy while you're driving. Unfortunately, this country doesn't have a whole lot of it. That goes on to what Joel and I was saying about how it's better overseas. But the final comment goes to Simplify, who says, motorcycle. No, you know what? I've never driven a motorcycle, ridden on it a few times. You know, here in city traffic, when there's a traffic jam, you can zip on through, but... Safety factor wise, uh, you can't really go on a long trip. You can't take luggage on a motorcycle either when you're going to go on a long, long trip. You have those saddlebags on the side you can put on a Harley 
but yeah, you can't really bring much. That's that's a pretty unique lifestyle. One other thing that nobody brought a comment up that I do want to bring up is a nice way to travel is a cruise ship. I know there's been some horror stories about some cruise ships, and it does happen occasionally when things get people get sick or whatever. But I was on one one time, and it was a blast. Yes, the bar bill's high at the end, but you know what? They have everything you need on there, all kinds of food. It stops on islands. They can get you across the sea to where you want to go. In fact, that's how the immigrants got here to New York all those years ago. So a, a ship is actually not that bad. I think that's something – I know you've never tried it yet, Joel, but I think it's something you might be interested in doing in the future. Yeah, it's funny you say that. I actually got invited to a, uh, a cruise around Barcelona and Paris uh, in June. So I was thinking about going. I was thinking about uh, checking it out. Well, let's get to the poll right now real quick because the question is, you got a long trip ahead. What's the best mode of transportation to get you where you need to go? 71% of you, you like the airplane. 29% of you like the train. And I was blown away by the fact that automobile got a big, fat goose egg zero. Nobody liked the automobile. I think, you know what, if I, this is one of the polls where I got to say, I think this one has at least some type of margin of error because there's no way nobody voted for an automobile. Yeah, like, what? How many people voted? Nine or some shit like that? <laughs> That's probably why. I think it had 21. I can't read the printout. It's so light. I think it was 21. But it, why say it's an error? Because we had two people write in and say automobile, but yet the poll shows it as a big fat goose egg. So, okay, you know what? Let's just throw this poll out. That one's no fun there. It's a... Uh, we need a lawyer on that. I want to check out the authenticity of it. One thing you want to make sure you check out is the big web show here each and every week. So click that like, subscribe button down below. Lots of fun on this web channel. On Lake Gambling, Jersey Joe, Kicking Back, Jersey Joe, and The Brew. We're here for you each and every week. Look forward to hanging out with you and have a beer and chat with Joe and I all the time. You know what? It's a party. And hey, you know what? Well, you know what? The best thing is, Joe, we can now officially say we are world travelers. That's true. Certified, checked off, and I got the credit card bill to prove it. Jersey Joe here, I on the box over there saying thanks for watching. Appreciate seeing you guys, and we'll see you next time, I hope.